Today I'm going to show you how to make a Pete the Cat drawing with colors and patterns inspired by the famous artist Laurel Birch. If you look at my Pete the Cat drawing, you notice that Pete the Cat is mostly blues, greens, and purples. That means he's cool colors. In the Pete the Cat stories, Pete is usually blue. In his background, I've used warm colors. Warm colors means mean pinks, reds, oranges, and yellows. I've also used lots of fun patterns to fill up my shape. So we're going to learn how to do that today. But first, let's learn about this famous artist named Laurel Birch. Laurel Birch was an artist who painted things that made her happy. She made her art to make others feel good. She didn't want to make them feel sad. She wanted to use bright colors and fun patterns and fun subjects like cats that would make the people who see her art feel happy inside. So that is why her artwork can be found on a lot of items that you might see around you, like purses or maybe even socks. First, I'm going to show you how to draw Pete the Cat. So the materials that we'll need today are a pencil, a black marker, an eraser, and something to color with, like markers and crayons. I'm going to use my paper hot dog style, not hamburger style. So I'm going to use it so the sides are long. I'm putting my hand on the side of the paper and I'm making a little dot, and this will be the sides of Pete's face. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line. So a vertical line goes up and down. I'm also drawing one on the other side. So two vertical lines, lines that go up and down. They should be about the same height. The next thing I'm going to do is put a point in the middle. So just a little dot in the middle between those two lines and a little bit lower than the lines. Then I'm drawing two diagonal lines to create the chin of Pete the Cat. After that, we're going to work on the ears. So watch where my fingers go or my hand. That's a little bit of ghost drawing. So I'm practicing before I draw. I'm going to make almost like a triangle shape for his ears. I noticed that that side was a little bit smaller, so I'm making it bigger. Then I'm going to draw a rainbow shape line. So just a little bit of a curve to connect the ears. Now let's work on his face. For Pete's nose, I'm going to draw an upside down triangle shape so that the point is facing down. And then connect the two lines. Then I'm going to make a point above his nose for the eyes. So those are the corners of the eyes. I'm gonna put my finger on the side of the face and put another point and then one on the other side. So then I will have four corners of his eyes because we have two eyes. Then I'm making two rainbow shape lines for the top of his eye shape and two on the bottom. Then I have two eye shapes. The next thing I'll do is draw some details inside of Pete's eyes. So I'm using a small U shape and then a big U shape to create the sections in his eyes. Later with my black marker, I'm going to color in this part with pencil. Then we'll draw two curved lines for Pete's neck all the way to the bottom of your paper. And lastly, we're going to draw the whiskers. So do a couple lines for whiskers underneath the eyes. Make sure you do whiskers on both sides. The next thing we're going to do is outline or trace our pencil lines with a black marker. So there are my two vertical lines, my dot in the middle for the chin, 
two slightly diagonal lines to create his angled chin shape, two short diagonal lines for the ear shapes, a slightly rainbow curve for his head, an upside down triangle for his nose, four dots for his eye shapes, two rainbow lines for the top of his eye shape, and two smile lines to close his eye shape. Then we'll do the details inside of his eye And I'm gonna go ahead and color in that part that is called the pupil. So the pupil is the dark circle in the middle of our eye. Pete's pupil is kind of like, he's looking up at something, so it's not a full circle. It's kind of like a half circle. And notice that I'm leaving a little dot, that little circle white, and that is called the reflection in his eye. Then I have the two curved lines for his neck and his whisker lines. And I did about four on each side. All right, so Pete the Cat is done being drawn. Now I'm going to erase any pencil lines that are showing through my outline. This will just make my drawing look a lot neater. Next, let's talk about warm and cool colors. So when we hear the word warm, we think of things that are warm, like fire or the sun. And colors that are warm are pinks, reds, oranges, and yellows. When we hear the word cool, we think of cool things like water. So cools are blues, greens, and purple. When you're coloring your Pete the Cat, try to separate your colors into warms and cools. First, I'm going to show you some different patterns you can use to fill in the space in your Pete the Cat. Because remember, we are coloring this in the style of the artist Laurel Birch. And Laurel Birch loved to use different patterns and bright colors on her artwork. So you could use some different lines like wavy, zigzag, dashed, spiral lines. You could use shapes like hearts or triangles. All of those are good ideas to use on your Pete the Cat. And I'm going to draw these right on the inside of Pete. Remember that you're using cool colors. So I'm using a blue marker here. I'm gonna to try to fill in his head, his head shape with different patterns. So I'm using some hearts. On his nose, I'm doing some stripes. The more patterns you have, the more it will look like Laurel Birch's style. Some dashed lines on his neck, some wavy lines, spiral lines, zigzag lines. All right, I think that's good for Pete. So now I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to use my warm colors to draw patterns in the background around Pete. So I'm starting with some wavy lines in the color pink, some spirals, and you can draw different patterns using different warm colors because you are the artist. It doesn't have to look just like mine, but try to use warm and cool colors. Also try to fill in all of your paper space. So I haven't drawn patterns at the bottom of my paper yet. That means I am not done. Shapes like circles are always a good idea. Those could be like a polka dot pattern. Okay, so I think I am done drawing patterns. Now let's talk about coloring. 
So for coloring, I'm going to use crayons and I'm going to separate them into warm and cool color groups. So remember, cool colors are blues, greens, and purples, and warm colors are pinks, reds, oranges, and yellows. I'm going to use cool colors on Pete the Cat, and I'm going to use my warm colors on the background. So first, let's start by coloring in Pete the Cat. And you can just color right over the patterns that you drew in marker and they will show through the crayon. When you're coloring, if you layer your colors or you color over another color with crayon, you will make a new color. So if I layer purple and blue, I will get a blue purple or a purple blue. So it's always fun to make some new colors. Let's see that in super fast speed. I really don't draw this fast in real life and I don't want you to, but I just sped up my video so that it goes a little bit faster while you're watching it. Pete's eyes are usually like a golden yellow. So I'm going to use my goldish yellow crayon for that part of his eye. You could decide to do this, or if you want it to be another color, that is also okay too. The yellow really stands out from the blues and greens and the purples. Now I'm going to work on coloring the background with warm colors. So warm colors, remember, are reds, pinks, oranges, and yellows. Remember when you overlap your crayon colors, you are making a new color by blending a two colors together. Remember that we are creating our Pete the Cat in the style of the famous artist Laurel Birch, who loved to use bright colors and patterns in her artwork to make people feel happy. Notice how much my Pete the Cat stands out from the background because I use the two different color groups, warms and cools. I hope you had fun creating your Pete the Cat inspired by the artist Laurel Birch. I cannot wait to see your creation.